I know I told a bunch of you that I was going to do this a while back, but I totally never did. So here you go, some random clips from my time here in Yellowstone, starting off with an elk calf that was playing in sprinklers, it's pretty hilarious. Moving on to some bison, some geysers, not really sure what else is in there, fun stuff. the Midway Geyser Basin. It's like six miles round trip. In the middle of it, we got caught in that storm over there. It's pretty intense. You can tell also based on the number of cars that are in the parking lot. Hi shark bait. Because normally you can't find parking in here and it's almost empty. Got a little cool thermal feature over there. But yeah, so I got wind blasted and sand blasted and rain blasted. And it kind of looks like I haven't shaved in like a month. But that's just where the dirt line is. This is one of the things I got to hike past. Stuff like this. Pretty cool. Saw a geyser erupting. Yeah, so backcountry geysers, they're the best because there's no boardwalks. So you can kind of go right up to them. You have to be safe. And there's no other people. It's great. So what we're experiencing right now is a bison jam. It's a normal experience here at Yellowstone. So there's there's bison running down the road. They're being herded along by the ranger. Because that's what their job is sometimes. So we don't have traffic jams. We have bison jams. Oh, and they're all running up there. They're so cute. Hello, little bison. This happens frequently. Been stuck in bison jams for like 40 minutes. What's even worse are the dumb people in the traffic jams that'll like get out and park their cars in the middle of the road and stuff like that. But this one's not too bad. I just like how the ranger has his lights on because that's gonna make the bison do things. I don't really know. Still in the bison jam. Um, there's a couple calves up there. I think we're supposed to stay like right close to the ranger or something. So, I don't know, here we go. So this is apparently where an elk decided to eat the tree or mark it. You can see its teeth marks. In case you're wondering, I did make it through the bison jam eventually. It took a while. Um, and I'm going home in like a week which is insane. I can't believe it's been almost three months, um, but I'm really excited to see some of you pretty soon. But goodbye Yellowstone pretty soon for now. I might be back next summer. Sorry.